The health minister, Christine Ondoa, today released the results of the 2011 Uganda AIDS Indicator Survey, which showed an increase in the prevalence rates across the country. The proportion of adults with HIV has increased slightly since the last national population-based survey of 2004-2005. HIV prevalence is higher among women, amounting to 8.3% than men, which is 6.1%. The increase was attributed to several factors, among which are the promiscuous behavior of a large number of adults, the availability of antiretroviral drugs, which has increased the lifespan of people living with HIV and AIDS, and the increase in mother-to-child transmission rates. Health experts from the United States Agency for International Development who were in attendance pledged their support to the Ugandan government in curbing the spread of HIV AIDS. Since 2004, from the American people have invested 1.7 billion US dollars to the in support of the HIV AIDS response in Uganda. And the way forward to this result is we are affirming our commitment to the people of Uganda that we will continue our level of commitment uh, to these efforts going forward. The survey findings shows the central region with the highest prevalence rates at 10.6 percent, followed by the mid-northern region with 8.3 percent. The mid-western region had 8.2 percent, while the mid-eastern region registered the lowest prevalence rates at 4.1 percent. Kampala City was surveyed as a separate entity due to its multicultural nature and recorded 7.1 percent. Multiple sexual partnerships are a key driver of this epidemic in this Uganda. You can change what you are doing. The results also showed that male circumcision had a positive effect on HIV transmission although the proportion of circumcised Ugandan men between 15 and 49 years remained unchanged. Once you're circumcised, we are not saying go lie. Still use condoms. And this is really calls for an individual behavior change. The increase in the prevalence rates indicates a reversal in the gains the country recorded between the 1980s and 90s when the HIV-AIDS pandemic ravaged the country. Chris Ochamringa. NTV.